Hi everyone, this is Allison Soa, one of the tech coaches at St. Francis Xavier School, and I'm going to show you today how to log into our brand new Science Dimensions program. When you first click on the link, you will end up at Add Your Friend in Learning, and then we have to log into the district. So you're going to start where it says Select State. We are in Illinois. And then our district is the Archdiocese of Chicago. Then you hit next. From there, you're going to enter your username and then put in your password. Today, I'm using Chrome, and Chrome has a pop up blocker that does not allow you to get further than this page but I have already enabled it so that it will always open the pop-ups in Add Your Friend and Learning. So if I hit sign in, this is the first screen I will see. What I need to do then is depending on the grade level of the student, I will click on this drop-down menu over here and find their grade level. I'm going to click on third grade for today. So these are all the units that are available to the students. If I click on the engineering unit, this is similar to the students' books. So there is a video that plays, and then there is text that goes with it. So if I hit play, it's going to read what is on the screen for me. One tool that your student might want to use is this read along highlights. If you click on it, it will highlight as the text is being read. So I'm going to hit play. Unit 1, Engineering Processes. Powered leg supports allow this paralyzed person to walk. Unit 1 at a glance. Lesson 1, How do we define a problem? Lesson 2, As you keep going, you're going to see some of the unit projects, the vocabulary with pictures, vocabulary cards if you'd like to make some flashcards, and then it's just going to continue to the next lesson. As the students are reading and they come across a word that they don't remember, if it has this little thought bubble with the three little dots, they're able to click on it and it will pull up the definition from the glossary. Occasionally there are self-checking questions in the book as well as online so the student can read the question and then they can choose one of the options and then if they check, space is a limiting factor it will tell the student if it is correct or not if you go back up top to the hamburger this is just like a table of contents in a book so we were in unit one it was talking about engineering we're done with unit one, I can click on unit two, and I can open lesson one. So I'm just going to click here right now. What is fun about the online version is that it's interactive through the use of an iPad or a computer. So in this lesson, students are exploring forces. So if we hit set, get set, pull. Get set, pull. So if I click on it, the little boy shows up in the swing. I click on it again. And the older boy pulls the swing back. If I hit get Go. push, push. It's, it starts with the older character holding the swing. And then what happens when he pushes? So students can experience video instead of just talking about it. There are videos embedded in this program all over the place. Here's another one where it's, you can watch a dog play tug of war, and it says the strongest pull wins. These dogs are playing a game similar to tug of war with a round plastic disc. So they'll get to watch the video to find out what happens, and then respond to a question. So if I pick an answer, I can check. Think about how the forces are interacting in the video. It can tell me if I was correct but obviously there are more correct answers. If I go to the hamburger again, I can find a lesson self-check, which is like a little quiz. 
students watch the video from the beginning of the lesson. And these are some of the items that were talked about as they learned about forces. So after watching the video, they should be able to include the following ideas in their answer. Once they start typing, they can hit possible answer and it will come up with an answer. So there's all sorts of questions that the students can answer and check. Think work. about how adding more force will change the motion of the sled. On this section, they get to drag their answers to the boxes. So they have a really good way of checking to see if they understood their lesson both at school and at home. If I go back to the first tab that had opened and I hit show all, these are some of the other options that can quickly get students to their work. So there is the student ebook, which is what we were just looking. There's the print version of their book or the glossary. I hope this helps you navigate the Science Dimensions website. If you have any questions, please contact myself, Allison Soa, at asoa at sfxlg.org. Thank you.